Good morning, everybody. Hello, world. Hello, bananas. I am your friendly neighborhood programmer guy. And we're going to start doing this absolutely crazy program that you're not going to understand and you're going to fall asleep like in five minutes. I can guarantee you that. No, I'm kidding. This is going to be as simple as possible. And we're going to teach you guys how to do delegates and events, the object-oriented way, the pure and fancy way. And without any further ado, let's dive into it. Okay. Sometimes programs can execute on a food recipe like sequence. Um, like, duh. That's why, you know, we all study computer science because it's like a food recipe is super easy, dude. Like everybody should study computer science, super easy. And uh, that's why events exist. Oh, so we got events now? Yeah, we, dude, we're, that's what the video is about, events, dude. Okay, well, exist and async, so tasks can execute parallelly. Okay, that's like poetry. So we're going to ignore this beep. And we're just gonna focus on delegates because the video title is like delegates. So let's like ignore this, okay? Delegates equals a reference to a method with a particular parameter list and a return type. Okay, so what the hell does that mean? So when we call a delegate, we can call a group of methods that are inside that delegate. And that's it, we're creating a box and we're putting smoke inside, we're putting methods inside. And that's it. And then when we call the delegate, we can like open up the box and troll that crap on the user and call all the methods at the same time. And that's it. And you're happy. And you don't need to call the methods at the same time. It's simple. Even grandma uses delegates. So um, that is a delegate, but there's a big but in this sentence. And pay attention to my but. If you declare a delegate, there are ways in which you can like open up smaller compartments in that box and name those compartments in different ways and combine different methods all inside your big fat box, not but, box. So inside your big fat box, you can have different shelves or different smaller boxes, which you can call and those smaller little boxes have combinations or or like recipes we like recipes right yes of computer science though okay we got like different lists of methods that we can call all from one delegate all from one delegate isn't that fun all from one instance of a delegate so that is what a delegate does and it's like magic but it's just yes it's all bs okay so delegates well, yeah, it's all BS because we're in Visual Studio, BS. Okay, so delegates equals reference to methods with a particular parameter list and a return type. Uh, we already read that, dude. Get a life. Okay, so use the delegate. So how do we use this magical thing called delegate? We invoke the piece of sh okay? So invoke the delegate through its instance, dude. That's it. Don't be a freaking idiot. Okay, that's why you don't have a girlfriend. You have to take things by their horns and get a damn delegate and invoke it. Okay, through its instance, through the instance, be a man, use the instance. Okay, so what are the benefits? Well, you don't have to have the unwanted children. No, I'm just kidding. So what are the benefits? Delegates can call multiple methods at the same time and you can save money by calling Geico. No, I'm just kidding. Same time and you can pass methods as parameters. Oh, you can pass methods as parameters. Yeah, you can pass it as a parameter. You can like literally do like you can like like you put them all inside the box, all the methods, like I said already, and then you like use that instance, that variable, and you put it as it's as a five parameter. thirty. Shut up. And you put it as a parameter, and you can pass it around, dude. It's rad. 
it's rad it's like surfing dude like just you can surf your methods around and like pass them around through your objects just passing through you know passing some methods inside of a variable to totally normal ignore it yeah you know okay so can be used to define callback methods so the methods can be used to define callback methods that's the smaller boxes inside of your big box thing so you can make like smaller and name them those smaller boxes inside your big one and you can just call them by their small name and because it's all in the scope it's all in the same box it's all in the same scope if it's in the same scope don't call it from outside the scope okay <laughs> and if you don't know what scope is go get your videos and scopes dude because we're not going to talk about that yo and scope is you know because this video is for idiots um you know the brackets this things here everything that's inside here it's a scope dude brilliant we're so smart okay so uh we already talked about the benefits boss right yeah we did yeah you can go take a break we're very tired right now. I don't know why, why am I even doing this? Nobody's going to see this video. Nobody's going to care. Like I'm wasting my time. Okay. So can be used to find a callback and we're not even going to get paid for this crap anyway. So methods don't need to match delegate types. Exactly. Covariance and contravariance. Uh, they don't need to match delegate type exactly. Oh my God, dude, they don't need to match. That's like breaking the rules. Don't let your teacher see that crap, bro. Yeah, but you got to use the covariance and contravariance stuff. And that has something to do with uh, fanciness that we're not going to cover because then this video is going to be way too long and you're not even going to watch it. And what's the point? If not even going to get paid for this. Okay, so um, ignore this crap ignore this crap and let's jump into the point how do we declare a delegate okay first of all for this example we will be using this super simple stupid blah 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 machines that only blah 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 and this classes are like literally just dude just copy paste this and then call it a day and that's it and like go on with your life get a girlfriend marry have kids and you will be happy okay trust me boy just trust me okay so class folding machine public void stop folding what does this class do it's prints on the screen stop folding and that's it and let's close it and then this this is a class and it's um it literally just prints on the screen. Stop welding. And that's it. Very complicated, bro. Too complicated. Our mind's going to blow up right now. Um, okay. Internal void. Holy smokes. What the? What the hell just happened there, bro? My butt is off the butt. Okay. No. Okay. So, like, we're here right paint off just paint off dude and when you call this method it stops painting and that's it we call it a day bro I i'm even tired of making jokes for nobody like what the hell is up with this thing okay so like class controller public delegate void stop machinery delegate why are you making so much noise when i have to make videos for youtube okay so this is how we declare a delegate. You can call it public. If you don't, you can always not call it public and then see how the compiler yells at you. You can never call a delegate anything that is not public. It is as public as your booty. So always call it public because everybody can see it, okay? It is important for you to call it public. All delegates are public, blah, blah, blah. And you can declare the return type. What's the return type of your delegate? You choose that, my friend. It's up to you. You can return the universe, or you can return an int, or a string, or whatever the hell you want, okay? Just stop asking stupid questions, okay? I'm kidding. Okay, stop machinery delegate. 
the delegate type. This is it. You made a delegate type. We're cool now. We're cool kids, okay? Uh, if we need to make the delegate public but still retain control over it, this is the way. This is the way, my friend. This is the way. So this is the object-oriented way of making delegates public, dude. That's it. And having a private instance, because you got to put that instance in your mind, bro. Like, this is a private instance that's in scope, and that's it. And uh, we declare this freaking methods that you're going to freaking stop the video and copy them. And then you're going to understand them if you copy them. And this is how you can access your delegates and your events from outside your objects in the right way, the Microsoft way, not the weird, crappy, shitty, blah, 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 sheep code way. This is the right way, the object-oriented way. So um, we got the add method that literally you just pass a parameter of the delegate type you wish to add something to. And then the method, it's a unibody method. It's not a unibody method. It's just a single body, single line method. And uh, it's not a lambda, it's just a single line method. And this stop machinery plus equals stop method. So we stop the method. No, no, I'm just kidding. This is, this is uh, the name of the parameter. So whatever the hell we pass in the add method, it's gonna be added because this is the type of code that you write if you want to add, put stuff in your box, in your big fat box. If you wanna put stuff in your big fat, fat box, this is the way, okay? This is the way of the big fat box. If you wanna put stuff in it, you put the parameter name of the delegate type you want to be able to pass here and then you pass in a, a method and then you literally automatically, this method will add the type of method that you pass here. It doesn't need to be a delegate and you can pass any method here, as long as it's of a compatible type with the delegate, it will be added as a parameter to the delegate instance that we have here so that's how we add methods and this is exactly the same shenanigan we can call this method from outside it's public the same here it's all public you can call it the method and then you pass in a method and that method gets stored or removed in this case this is stored and this is this is how we store a method in our big fat box that's just a delegate we call delegates big fat boxes of methods. And, uh, and this is how we remove methods from our big fat box because it's too big and fat and we want to make it light. So uh, continuing here, this is our private instance of, the, of our delegate that we declared here. We just define the type here and then we have a private instance here. These are the methods so we can store and remove methods from our object-oriented style bro we're, we're doing the microsoft way the right way baby so this thing is how we create the property to store and remove methods from our methods box aka a delegate and the controller um i'm thinking about something this thing here is just here to confuse the hell out of you. I'm just gonna move this thing out of here because it's very confusing. I am so confused. Okay, so let's ignore this thing for Pete's sake. And going back here, so we got the same code that I just showed you, dude. There's nothing different. And then we just when we want to activate or call all the methods that are inside our box, we do this call calls all methods. 
And this is how we invoke the magical box that's filled with the methods that we stored inside. And that's it. And when we do that and we run that, we're going to get exactly what we ask for. Let's see what happens when we run this stuff. So we make an instance of the controller, make an instance of the folding machine, make an instance of the welding machine, make the instance of the printing machine. So just remember guys with delegates, you can pass methods and be able to control different methods from different classes, all from one class. And we're gonna see in the events one, how we can even send messages from one object to another object. And uh, in a way that we can do it safely and not hard coding anything in a way that it's the right Microsoft way. So uh, add methods to delegate, this is just calling the adding method to the delegate, reporting and calling and putting methods inside a big fat box. And that's all we're doing here, guys. We're storing the methods that are from, this are our instance, our instances of the dummy machines that we wanna turn off. Remember the example that I never told you guys? Uh, so this, is a project that is about calling, like turning off everything in an office or in a factory with one method. Like your boss says like, yo, we gotta make a method that we can turn off everything you do with just one button and that's it. And, and that's how we do it. We, first we gotta instantiate all our machines that we want to turn off. And if you don't know how to instantiate, you should quit programming forever and uh, never ever search programming again in Google. I am not kidding. I'm not. And after that, add methods to delegate. You add the methods that are inside our instance of the things we want to control and turn off so our boss doesn't fire us. We add the methods and we store them in our big fat box in our delegate because this is the add to delegate method. And then we just call the delegate, invoke it, maybe like magic, magic. And it automatically calls all the methods in here and shut it down, baby. And let's see how it shuts it down, baby. Let's see that in action. We want to see that big fat box shutting it down. A namespace directly contains members such as fields, methods, blah, blah, blah. Method must return a type. And we got BS here. We got a little bit of BS. Just a little bit of BS. BS. Because we are in Visual Studio. Studio. So let's just comment that crap. Um, let's see what else we got. Yo, a method must return a type. Really, dude? I didn't know that. It was like, like magical. I did not know that a method had to return a type. Are we Master Joda now? Are we gonna speak in riddles? And um, here it is. Hello world. Stop folding, stop welding, stop painting. And those are exactly the strings that were printed from our shitty shatty small little classes here and here and here. And you can just copy paste this and call it a day. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go have a life and walk my dog. Goodbye, take care, like and subscribe. Bye. -bye.